Last night's thunderstorm brought with it some extreme weather activity, including reports of potential tornadoes around Whitefish Lake. Officials with the Northern Tornadoes Project at Western University are now looking for evidence of that. Meanwhile, hundreds of trees were knocked down in Oliver Papoonge. Most of the damage was isolated to the far end of John Street Road near Mackey Road. Hydro, Hydro One was dealing with numerous power outages due to the trees falling, falling on hydro lines. And public works crews had around two dozen trees to remove from roads around Oliver Papoonge. John Street Road homeowner Pete Hutzing appears to have gotten the worst of it. Around three dozen trees on his property came down last night. He says all seemed calm when the thunderstorm began at around 7 p.m. And I was in the house watching it because I love thunderstorms. And uh, all of a sudden the wind turned more violent than I've ever seen in my lifetime. And I was running from my front window to my back window watching trees uh, come down in force. How many trees came down around your property? I'm guessing, I haven't counted yet at first, I thought around 25, but we're looking at about 35, 40 trees, I'm guessing. Yeah, I got a bit of a mess to clean up, but no one's hurt and it's okay. And the house is okay and your trailers? The house is okay. Oh, my trailer, one tree missed the front. Another tree missed the back by inches, so. Hydro One's outage website shows around 500 people in that area were still without power as of late this afternoon.